The year is 1850. With a wagon full of supplies, a map to guide your way, and a healthy dose of courage, you're about to embark on an adventure that could lead you to riches or ruin. Your mission? To travel west to find a place to make a fresh start. This is the story of one of the most iconic events in American history, the Oregon Trail. Throughout the early 1800s, the U.S. was rapidly expanding into new territories. In the Pacific Northwest, four countries lay claim to the territory which would one day become known as Oregon Country. They were the United States, Great Britain, Spain, and Russia. Unfortunately, indigenous peoples' claim to the region wasn't recognized by the U.S. government. Spain gave up its claim to the area in 1819 with the adams onis Treaty, otherwise known as the Transcontinental Treaty. By 1824, Russia had also given up its claim to the region. Finally, in 1846, Great Britain and the U.S. reached an agreement and established the 49th parallel as the border between the two nations. All the while, an ever-increasing number of American settlers were making the journey west to the Pacific coast. In the early 1800s, the first Americans to travel to the region were fur traders in search of beavers. These men sold beaver fur to be made into clothing in Europe and the U.S. Along the way, they mapped the geography and created paths to the west. Some later became guides and helped people travel the Oregon Trail. One of the earliest settlers to the region was a man named Dr. Marcus Whitman and his wife Narcissa. They traveled to the Oregon Territory in 1836 and established a mission in modern-day Washington, where they intended to convert the Cayuse people to Christianity. In 1843, around 1,000 people decided to follow Whitman's trails and made the journey to Oregon country with over 100 covered wagons and plenty of livestock. As other settlers came to the region, they unintentionally brought something sinister, a disease called measles. In 1847, the disease caused the deaths of many Cayuse people, and in retaliation, they attacked the Whitman's mission, resulting in their deaths, along with those of other settlers. Still, Americans continued to make the journey west, and the Oregon Trail was growing in popularity year by year. The Oregon Trail officially began in the small town of Independence, Missouri. From there, settlers traveled nearly 2,200 miles to reach Oregon country. There was more than one path to the west, but people call the collective journey the Oregon Trail. Between the 1840s and 1880s, over 400,000 people traveled the Oregon Trail to reach the west. These Americans were seeking new opportunities for a better life. The American nation was facing an economic depression, resulting in a loss of jobs and money. Soon, promises of fertile farmland, lush forests, and plentiful resources sparked a sense of adventure in the minds of American citizens, who began gathering the supplies they'd need to make the journey. Some traveled with the goal of owning farmland, while others were on a search for gold and riches or religious freedom. American newspapers fanned the flames of Western expansion. In 1845, a newspaper editor named John O'Sullivan coined the phrase, Manifest Destiny, to describe westward expansion in the U.S. Manifest Destiny was the belief that it was America's God-given right to expand westward to the Pacific Ocean. The nearly 2,200-mile journey took roughly five to six months. These settlers were emigrants, people who leave their country to live somewhere else. They're also called pioneers, people who explore a new place before others. Before departing, the pioneers had to get ready for the journey by selling homes, businesses, and belongings they no longer needed, and instead purchasing the supplies they would need, including hundreds of pounds of food like biscuits, flour, sugar, lard, bacon, coffee, rice, and beans, along with farming equipment and rifles or shotguns for protection. To carry these goods, pioneers purchased a wagon called a prairie schooner, a type of covered wagon along with horses or oxen to pull it. The time of year they left was just as important as having enough supplies. 
Pioneers typically left in late spring, like April or May, to ensure they made it to the west coast before the winter months set in. All the preparations in the world, however, didn't ensure an easy journey. Along the way, pioneers faced harsh weather conditions, dangerous river crossings, and attacks from indigenous tribes. Many people died from illnesses like cholera, dysentery, and smallpox, while others suffered from accidents and sometimes even starvation. In total, over 20,000 people died along the Oregon Trail. The impact of the Oregon Trail on American history is undeniable. It helped to expand the U.S.'s borders and played a key role in the development of the West. While many pioneers benefited from land ownership, bustling new cities and new opportunities, many American Indian nations were pushed from their homelands and mistreated by the new immigrants. Despite all of this, the Oregon Trail was a symbol of hope and opportunity for those who undertook it, a chance for adventure into the unknown and a place where they believed anything was possible. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. To keep up to date on the newest videos from the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. I'll see you next time. In the meantime, keep pursuing history.